Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to ESPN NFL 2K5. My name is Peanuts247, and today we are starting our Eagles franchise dynasty run. Now, these Philadelphia Eagles, they were my favorite team back in 2004, and they are poised for a Super Bowl. Now, you know back in 2004, they did lose to Tom Brady and the New England Patriots. You can see with this great offense and elite defense at a 92 overall, the Eagles are ready and raring to make the Super Bowl. And that is the overall goal of this year and every year for the next 10 seasons, as we will outline momentarily. But let's look at these goals. We want to make the Super Bowl, and we also, as a secondary goal, want to improve that run defense. Now, here's some goals and rules for the franchise itself 10 years to win as many Super Bowls as possible we also that secondary goal want to improve the run defense this year in 2003 the Eagles defense on the run was 22nd not so great we're gonna play every single game and the season sim will be four minutes now taking a look at our roster we have McNabb backed up by Jeff Blake we also have Andrew Hall as the rookie quarterback which means Coy Detmer is the odd man out here and will be our first casualty of the roster cuts being released to free agency Heading over into our halfbacks, our time is going to be split mostly between Brian Westbrook and Corral Buckhalter. I also like having Bruce Perry as the rookie on the bench there, and having a 35 overall on the bench doesn't make sense at all. So Reno Mahe, I'm sorry, but you've got to go. Looking at our wide receivers, we do have a solid one through three option. Our options after that are not so great, so we're hoping our wide receivers don't get hurt. Good solid starting tight ends. Our offensive line is looking really nice. We have some young talent there. We do unfortunately have to get rid of Jamal Jackson here because we are overloaded in the guard spot. Our tackles are elite. Our defensive line is very, very solid. We have great defensive ends from top to bottom. Our linebackers are okay. We might look at improving here in the inside linebacker spot as well as the secondary with our cornerbacks, but we are again really, really set in the secondary in our safety position. Now looking at our overall elite players, T.O. Terrell Owens, our overall 100 legendary cheat code for this year. He's probably not going to be 100 next year, so we got to take advantage of this guy as much as we can. He's poised to have an amazing season with the Eagles. Now we've got Brian Dawkins in the secondary, our 99 overall free safety. He's on the older end and ninth year man out of Clemson. We're going to see how he does holding it down in the secondary this year. Next up is David Akers, our 92 overall kicker. He's seven years in the league, but he is solid as solid can be. We expect him to make long kicks from wherever he is on the field. And of course, Donovan McNabb, the 10-year contract that we're going to be setting this parameter of our franchise around. Our Syracuse man could have gotten a Super Bowl this year. Let's see if we can get one for him as well. Javon the Freak Curse holding down our defensive line coming from Florida, six years in the league. We expect him to have another big year with a lot of sacks on his resume. And finally, we have our elite tackle, John Runyon, holding it down with Trey Thomas. They will be our offensive line tackles. Now, we did decide to sign Jeremiah Trotter. We're trying to win the Super Bowl this year. And while I like Mark Simon, oh, Jeremiah Trotter is an improvement in that middle linebacker position that we need. We also signed Tyrone Williams for that nickel spot in the corner. Now, take a look at our sliders. This is what we're looking, working with. We've got them pretty high for the computer, except in a couple of spots. We got them pretty low for the human, except in a couple of spots. We're going to go ahead and simulate the preseason here on a GameCast stat. I'll check in in between each game, but we're just going to roll through this and you sit back and enjoy.
the Eagles backups take care of business in week one of the preseason, winning 14-10 over the Chicago Bears. In week two of the preseason, they have the Detroit Lions continuing their NFC North Tour. Let's see how it goes. In week two of the preseason, the Eagles handle the Detroit Lions, and it wasn't even a contest. The Eagles take home the victory 20 to nothing, the defense not allowing the Lions to even come close to sniffing points. We move on to week three and pass through the bye week, and then in week four, we take our 2-0 record to face the Jacksonville Jaguars.
behind a late game field goal from David Akers and some later game heroics forcing a turnover by the defense, the Eagles are 3-0 heading into the final week of the preseason. Can we go perfect through this preseason facing the Oakland Raiders? Stay tuned and find out. While the undefeated preseason was not meant to be, we still have high hopes for this season of football. And the Eagles are 3-1 and one through the preseason and only one injury. Jeremiah Trotter only out for two weeks. We will see him in game three of the season. Looking at the regular season, our first game are against those New York football giants. Not a great team. They're not expecting a whole lot. Kurt Warner as the starting quarterback. They do have Ike Hilliard, Tiki Barber and Jeremy Shockey on the offense, but quickly let's talk about some gameplay rules. Now I'm going to be completing a full drop back with the quarterback before I can use or control him. Audibles in offense and defense are allowed, but hot roots are not. D-line, linebacker, and D-back unit adjustments are allowed, but only in reaction to the offense if I see that I'm off balance or if someone goes in motion. No individual player movement before the snap on the defensive side. Offensively, you can send players in motion and no user control of the D-lines. And without further ado, Let's get into our first regular season game of this Eagles dynasty run. Philadelphia, New York. This ought to be good. Hello and welcome to Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, where we look forward to kicking off the 2004-2005 NFL football season. 
This week, your Philadelphia Eagles welcome the New York Football Giants for their home opener and season opener here in NFL 2K5. For the Giants, we do have Kurt Warner at quarterback, throwing for 102 touchdowns and only 65 interceptions in his career. He's looking for a strong start to his season, as well as Tiki Barber, 1,216 yards last year, a strong 2003 campaign. Before we get going, we do have to have the coin toss. Let's take it away. The Eagles calling tails on the toss will receive to start the game and the Giants choosing to defend the North goal. After a touchback on the kickoff, McNabb, first play of the drive, hands off to Westbrook who runs right side for just two yards before being taken down by Will Peterson. Second down, quick drop back from McNabb, fires over the middle, complete to Todd Pinkston who turns and burns left upfield for a good gain of 18 yards before being taken down. First and 10 from the Philadelphia 40, McNabb pass after the drop back and pass action to Westbrook, deflected by Will Peterson over the middle, intended for Terrell Owens. Second and 10, upcoming. On the second and 10, McNabb, looking like he's going to pass, hands it off to Westbrook on the draw, who manages a gain of about six yards on the tackle from Barrett Green. Third and four from the 44, McNabb dropping back, looking downfield, turning slightly to his right before he is sacked and dropped by William Joseph for a loss of seven yards. Fourth down and 13 for the Eagles, they will choose to punt it away. First and 10 from the New York 30, Kurt Warner dropping back, passing to the left side and incomplete to his receiver. And third and 10, upcoming here on this drive from the shotgun. Warner taking the snap, dropping back, looking deep to the left side for the pass. It is caught and then dropped by Tim Carter after the hit from Lito Shepard and Brian Dawkins. The Eagles forcing a quick three and out, getting the Giants to punt the ball right back. Tom Coughlin not so happy with the decision making of his quarterback in that first drive. First and 10 from the 35, McNabb rolling to his right, looking way downfield to Owens, who just misses it out of his outstretched hands. We will be looking at a third and 10 situation. McNabb one more time, dropping back, looking, looking, tossing over the middle. Todd Pinkston has gotten behind the defense, hauls it in, taken down by Allen, but not until after a gain of 22 yards. First and 10 from the Giants, 43. Corral Buckhalter, the Admiral, getting the carry, cuts right and then gets taken down quickly by Green for a gain of two. Second and eight now, McNabb throwing over the middle to Todd Pinkston, his favorite target of the game so far for another 13 yards. Another first and 10 for those Eagles. First and 10 from the 28. McNabb chooses to hand the ball off to Westbrook, going right, breaks out of a tackle, tries to get a little bit extra out of it, but is taken down quickly by Barrett Green. Second and 10, McNabb dropping back, sees a man open on the right side, skies it out to Freddie Mitchell, and that is caught for the first Eagles touchdown of this 2004 campaign, and the Eagles dynasty is on and starting with flying colors. The Giants take back over at the Giants 28. Kurt Warner dropping back, trying to get all of those points back in one throw, and Lito Shepard says, I will take all of those, and intercepts the pass on the first throw. Kurt Warner is not happy, and the Eagles take over in Giants territory. Coming off of the interception, the Eagles take over at the Giants' 40-yard line. McNabb surveying the defense in front of him, hands it off to Corral Buckhalter, tries to jump right, is quickly taken down by Nick Greason for just a gain of two yards. Second and eight from the Giants, 38. Westbrook gets the handoff, runs it through the center, fights through one tackle, takes a second to take him down for a good gain of five yards on the play. Third and three coming up on the Giants, 33. The fullback, John Ritchie, gets his first opportunity at a carry, sheds off one tackle. Stoutmeyer takes him down, but not until he gains eight good yards for an Eagles first down. First and 10 from the 25. McNabb takes a shot at the end zone to Terrell Owens in double coverage, and that one is lucky to not be headed back in the other direction. Almost interception there by Will Peterson. Second and 10, McNabb dropping back on the handoff to Westbrook. Jukes one, shakes another, gets tackled, but after an 11 yard gain on the draw play from Evans. First and 10 now at the Giants, 14. McNabb on the first and 10, looking downfield at the end zone, decides to dump it to the flat where Corel Buckhalter decides to have stones for hands and it bounces right off of him harmlessly for a second down and 10 opportunity. 
Second down and 10. Westbrook takes the toss to the outside. Jukes past one tackler absolutely sends him. Looking end zone is taken down before he can get there by Stoutmeyer. The Eagles crowd is absolutely loving it, and the Eagles have a chance to go two touchdowns before the first quarter is even over. The Admiral, Carell Buckhalter, takes the handoff, runs it left, jukes a tackle, and takes himself into the end zone for the second touchdown of the Eagles' day so far before the first quarter is even behind us. 14 to nothing. Those Philadelphia Eagles are in control. The Giants trying to make something up here, first and 10 from their own 26. Kurt Warner sending a man to his left, takes that drop back, passes one to the left side to Toomer, who hauls one in for 17 yards, quickly taken back down by Lido Shepard. First down for those football Giants, and that will take us to the end of the first quarter. Like we just said before, Eagles are up big and early, 14 to nothing. Starting the second quarter, Warner lining up at his own 43. Takes the snap, looking around, throws to Jeremy Shockey, his big target on the right, who gets past two tackles right away, but he's not fast enough to outrun Michael Lewis, who takes him down after a gain of 26 yards. First and 10 at the Philadelphia 31. Kurt Warner takes the snap, takes a quick drop back, fires to that left side where Brian Dawkins was there and waiting and almost took that one back for an entire six points for the Eagles. Second down and 10. Tiki Barber finally going to get into the game here and he gets his first handoff of the day from Kurt Warner coming up. Barber takes the ball to the left side, bounces off his tackle, runs backwards and doesn't know where to go and Darwin Walker is right there waiting for him with open arms. A disastrous first run for Tiki Barber for a giant loss of nine yards. And Tom Coughlin is just living in an absolute nightmare. Third and 19 from the Philadelphia 40. Kurt Warner dropping back, looking deep. He has Tumor over the middle. He grabs it, but taken down fourth and two after that gain of 17 yards. And this is going to bring out the field goal unit to try and put some points on the board for the New York Giants. Matt Bryant back to take the kick. He kicks it. It looks good off the onset, but the wind has taken it and sails right and bounce doinks straight off of that upright. No points for those Giants just yet. The Eagles take over, take the sweep to the left side to Buckhalter. He tries to take and make lemonade out of those lemons. He spins out of a tackle, but only manages to get two yards before taken down by Joseph. Andy Reid, the absolute legend, still about to be coaching in his God, how many Super Bowls has he been in this Sunday? McNabb, second and eight, drops it on back, takes it way to the right side, scrambles right, and gets out of bounds after that wonderful gain of 10 yards. First down, Eagles off of the legs of Donovan McNabb. And remember what they say, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, you should probably switch up your defense to worry about this running quarterback because McNabb is off to the left side, absolutely loose, slides down before taking any punishment, and has a 24-yard gain under his belt. And the Eagles are moving and grooving. First and 10 from the Giants, 34. McNabb chooses to give someone else some of the running love this time and decides to hand it off to Brian Westbrook. Westbrook takes that toss to the right side, shakes off one tackle with the juke, spins around another, but then is taken down on that right side after a good run for four yards. Second and 10 from that New York 30, Corral Buckhalter now getting the carry, gets five yards out of that one after being absolutely hammered by Stoutmeyer. Third and one, the fullback John Ritchie gonna get his second call up of the game and take this one straight down the center of the defense where he gets a nice hole and finds a five yard gain. But he is injured on the play. He will return by the end of the game. So luckily our starting fullback is very much so still intact. First and 10 from the Giants 20, we have a red zone opportunity. McNabb drops it off to the right side to Brian Westbrook, manages five yards before taken down by Allen. Second and five, McNabb again sacked by the rush of the Giants defense. This time it's Emmons coming through the linebacker blitz working for the Giants, getting the sack, this time sending the Eagles back to a third and 11. From that third and 11, McNabb fires to Westbrook over the middle, grabs him for eight yards, but not quite good enough for that first down. David Akers, the 30 yard attempt. No issue with the wind here. The kick is up and the kick is good. 17 to nothing. These Eagles still looking for that shutout going into halftime. After the kickoff goes out of the end zone, the Giants take over from their own 20. Warner hands it off to Tiki Barber, gets another opportunity. This time gets positive yardage before being taken down by Nate Wayne for a gain of three. Second and seven. 
Kurt Warner, looking to pass this time, fires it to the right side to Ike Hilliard, just, just outside of the outstretched hand of Mark Simono. He looked like he was going to have the stiff arm there for a second, but with the help of Michael Lewis, gets taken down for a first down and a gain of 12 yards. The Giants, the passing offense, hasn't done a too much at this point. Kurt Warner looking to change that here. He's looking deep to the left side for Toomer, who gets past the outstretched arms of Lito Shepard, and we are off to the races. Toomer only needs to avoid one more sack from Lewis. He does it, and he steps all the way into the end zone for the first strike from the New York Giants, and we have ourselves a game before the first half ends. 17-7 now, the New York Giants getting on the board. The Eagles looking to score before halftime since they did receive and will have to give the game back. McNabb firing deep over the middle, finally gets a pass complete to Terrell Owens. T.O. good for 23 yards there. Another first and 10 for the Eagles. Westbrook takes the ball, runs it to the right side, getting taken down by Williams after a five-yard gain, and the Eagles use their first timeout. Second and five from the 48. McNabb passes it to the left side and absolutely dots one to Pinkston, who takes in a great haul for 19 yards. The Eagles looking end zone are thinking that extra score hauls a big one over the middle to Terrell Owens, who has it. And just like that, the Eagles are within striking distance before the half is over. McNabb, quick drop back, quick toss to T.O. And you know there was no doubt about that one. The Eagles defense shows flashes of brilliance and gets themselves a 24-7 lead going in to the half. Let's see how this second half goes for the Eagles, but before we do a quick look at the stats, and we are just dominating this game. In almost every single category when the half ended, the Giants were negative in rushing yards, a strong start for our goal to have a better rushing rating this year compared to last year. The Giants have had one turnover on the interception as well. Jumping right into the second half, the Giants do start with the ball after a touchback. They have it on their own 20. Warner, quick drop back, passes it to the right side, complete to Toomer for nine yards. Second and one, Barber gets the run to the left side for three yards for the first down, being tackled by Nate Wayne yet again. And Barber gets two runs in a row for positive yardage. What do you know? First and 10, Warner throws it to the right side to the fullback Fapp on the right flat for no gain, tackled by Michael Lewis, who is right there. Second and 10, Tiki Barber takes it again up the middle for maybe just two yards there. Nate Wynn and Walker right there for the stop. Third and eight on the Giants, 34. Warner, a little pressure, tosses it to the right side, complete to Toomer for a gain of 19 yards. Sheldon Brown was there for the tackle, but not there for the coverage. First down for those Giants. First and 10 from the 47. Kurt Warner dropping bass, tosses it to the right side, and Michael Lewis is there for the pass deflection. Second and 10, Warner once again dropping back, throwing it to the right side once again, deflected by Michael Lewis once again, and Michael Lewis is playing some solid defense here in this second half of football. Third and 10, Kurt Warner probably going to pass again. He drops back. He is looking past. He throws it to the left side, this time to Tim Carter, who once again catches it and drops it upon the monster hit from Brian Dawkins. Eagles taking over at their own 22. McNabb hands it up to Corral Buckhalter, tries to fight through the tackle of Joseph, but gets taken down after a three-yard run. Second and seven, Buckhalter gets another opportunity. We're not going to see much of Brian Westbrook for the rest of this game since it's pretty in hand. Only a one-yard gain on that run. Third and six, McNabb passes over the middle. Who other than Todd Pinkston having a great game hauls it in yet again for a 17-yard gain and another Eagles first down. The crowd is loving how good the offense and the defense is playing against their division rival today. First and 10 from the 43, McNabb once again gives it to Buckhalter, tries to run it over to the right side, gets tackled for a loss of two yards by Barrett Green. Second and 12, McNabb over the middle, complete to the Chad himself. Chad Lewis complete for 23 yards, big gain from the tight end over the middle, and the Eagles once again find themselves with a first down. First and 10 now from Giants territory on the 36. The rookie, Thomas Tappé, in for the injured John Ritchie, gets up the middle for a gain of eight yards. Second and two here from the 28. Buck Halter gets the opportunity to get the first down, and he just barely gets it falling over that first down line for a gain of three. McNabb sees an opening right in front of him on first down, slides forward, gain of nine on the scramble. And then in second and one, Buck Halter gets the opportunity to get yet another first down and does it in spades, finding a six yard gain on the left side. First and 10, McNabb sacked by Williams, the cornerback for a loss 
on that first down blitz. And then Buckhalter gets the opportunity to take it to the right side, looks to try and stiff arm, but gets taken down by two Giants for a big gain and a third and five opportunity as we head into the fourth quarter. The Eagles are absolutely rolling in complete control of this one, 24 to seven, as we head into that final quarter. Fourth quarter now, third and five from the Giants five. Buckhalter gets the opportunity again, goes two yards before being taken down by Greason. This is a chip shot for David Akers, who takes it, makes it, and it is now 27 to seven, Eagles over the Giants. After a decent return from the Giants, they go first and 10 from their own 25. Kurt Warner trying to get his team back in the game in any way, tosses one over to the right side where it's almost deflected, almost caught, or almost intercepted. One of the three would have happened, but the ball just falls incomplete. Second and 10, Warner sends a man to his right, someone chasing him. Warner steps back, throws to the right side over a bunch of people. It is deflected, but it's also called defensive pass interference on Lito Shepard, who was that crossing defender who ran into the receiver who was crossing in the other direction. So the Giants get a fresh set of downs at their own 31. The Giants hand it off to Tiki Barber, who tries to run over a couple defenders, gets met by Javon Kurse and Michael Lewis taken down for a gain of four yards. Second and six, Warner passing over to the left side, complete to Toomer for a gain of 16 yards being taken down by both the safeties, Lewis and Dawkins. First and 10 now from the Philadelphia 49. Tiki Barber takes the ball, gets barely a yard out of that. Nate and Wade was there to meet him very, very quickly. Second and nine, now from the Philadelphia 48. Warner pass left side to Hilliard, and that one is intercepted by Brian Dawkins. He says, thank you, come again. I'm trying to get out of here and enjoy the rest of my Sunday. Warner, very, very frustrated. Maybe he should try out those Rams or something like that. McNabb on first down, hands it off to Corral Buckhalter, runs to the right side for three yards before being taken down by Peterson and Green. Second and seven, the rookie Bruce Perry gonna start getting some carries. He runs to the right side for a gain of five before Griezen meets him, and then Buckhalter does not get a gain on third down. The Eagles will punt away. The Giants again trying to do something. Warner throws to the right side. It's deflected. Jeremy Shockey is hurt on the play, and pass interference is called on Donnie Jones. So Donnie doing the intelligent thing, the NBA thing, which is if you foul them, make sure that they don't get back up. Very 2004 football from Donnie Jones right there. Warner on first down, rolls left, fires it off, caught by Toomer for 19 yards on the rollout left. First and 10 again, and another pass interference call, this time on Tyrone Williams, getting a little excited about his coverage there from the nickel slot. The Giants looking to try and get some more points on the board. First and 10 from, their, from the 42, Warner passes to the right flat to Barber. He has trouble running forwards in this game for sure, but does manage to get two yards out of it, which it was a lot worse than that before. Second and eight now, Warner pass dropped by Toomer. It looks like he had some room in front of him if he could have hauled it in, but he does not. Third and eight, Kurt Warner looking to keep the drive alive, passes it to the left side, this time to Ponder, who grabs his first catch of the day for 14 yards. Brian Dawkins takes him down. First and 10 from the Philadelphia 26. The Giants trying to get touchdown. The first pass falls incomplete. Another pass deflection by Michael Lewis. Second and 10, another pass by Warner. Another deflection by Michael Lewis, who had a great game defending the pass today. Third and 10. Warner looking for Carter again. This time Carter can't come up with it and he drops another pass. Tim Carter had a tough, tough day today. Fourth and 10, the last chance for the Giants to get into the end zone and keep this game alive. Court Warner from the shotgun drops back, is looking to the left side. Lito Shepard gets his hands on the ball and that is going to do it for that one. McNabb takes a knee, will let the clock run out for the rest of the game and the Philadelphia Eagles take home their first victory of the season, a resounding 27 to seven win over the New York football giants. We're gonna take a look at the stats and everything that everyone did today in the game, but we're happy that we got our first win of the season, one of hopefully many, as the Eagles look to get on their campaign trail towards the Super Bowl. Now, as you can see the general stats for the game, the Eagles absolutely dominated the time of possession, the total yards, the rushing yards, the Giants barely got over positive numbers. They were playing from behind the entire game. Tiki Barber was not given the opportunity to shine today. Some highlights from the game, Donovan McNabb went 12 for 17 with 205 yards and two touchdowns. Westbrook, despite only playing pretty much just half the game, still carried the ball eight times for 42 yards, a pretty good clip. 
Carell, the Admiral Buckhalter, had 14 carries, the most out of anyone on the team, but only managed about 39 yards, but did have that one touchdown on the ground for the Eagles. Looking over at the receiving yards, Terrell Owens did have the one touchdown catch, that easy quick slant to the end zone, three catches in total for 52 yards. Pinkston was the high receptions, five for 89 yards in total, and Freddie Mitchell had that one bomb to the right side for that touchdown for 28 yards. Michael Lewis, the MVP of our defense today, he had six tackles, three passes defended, was all over the field, felt like we were saying his name a whole lot, and that is going to do it for this first episode of our 2K5 Eagles franchise dynasty run. I want to thank you for coming out and joining us today. I do live stream these games, so if you follow me here at PNS 24-7, you can see these games while they're being streamed live. We're going to have game sound and we're going to have sharper graphics in these videos to come. I was sort of figuring out how this all worked along the way, learning as we go, including putting this video together. So your likes, your comments, your interactions. If you like this video, there's going to be many more coming, so feel free to hit that subscribe button as well. Thank you so much for coming out. My name is Peanuts247 and we will see you at the next game. See you fam.